Hello. Is this a joke? It definitely is. Is wearing masks and telling others to do so synonymous with service? If you're thinking yes, then you're mistaken. But I'm telling you, you are in the right place to learn. On this pretext, I welcome all of you to the NSS orientation today. As children, we've always looked up to superheroes. Today, let us find out how being a human becomes super when a virtue called dedication works wonders for people in need. Good afternoon. I, Pratyusha, along with Amritanshu and Avantika are your hosts for today. In the moments to come, we will have an enthralling discussion and acquaint you with our work. Shuru se shuruat kare. NSS, yani National Service Scheme, ek parent organization hai, jisme NSS SCE ke andar art projects aur ek initiative plan aata hai. Chaliye, iske baare mein vistar se chalte hain. IIT University, an institute of eminence, serving professional courses to more than 30,000 children, sets its profession prominence among the leading universities not only across the country India but in the whole world with the perpetual support of our administration. Starting with our founder, sir, Dr. Professor Achyuta Samant, founder of KIIT KISS. He is the man behind the visionary idea of art of giving. Professor Achita Samanta is an educationist, humanitarian and a statesman. We work on his footsteps. That is, positivity is the best way to sustainable success. Professor Rushikesh Mohanty Sir, Vice Chancellor, KIIT University. Sir, we look up to you for your dynamic personality. You've always been a guiding light. Professor Sasmita Samanta, Pro Vice Chancellor, KIID University. Ma'am, you've always inspired us with your grace and giving nature. Dr. Gyanaranjan Mohanty, sir, Registrar, KIID University. Sir, thank you for your guidance. Professor Biswajit Sahu, Director, School of Computer Engineering, KIIT University. Sir, with your immense knowledge, you have shown us the path to be successful. A highly developed value system is like a compass. It serves as a guide to point you in the right direction when you are lost. We are pleased to introduce our program coordinator, Dr. Kajal Parashar Ma'am. Program Coordinator, KIIT NSS Bureau. We take this opportunity to express our gratitude and we hope that her light continues to shine upon us forever. Under the KIIT NSS Bureau, we have NSS School of Computer Engineering. It is rightly said that one can't cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. Our program officers have enabled us since the inception of NSS School of Computer Engineering. Seetal Dash Ma'am and Ramakant Parida Sir, program officers, NSS School of Computer Engineering have put in endless efforts in guiding us and lent us their helping hands whenever we were in need. Now, let us know more about NSS School of Computer Engineering. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the orientation program of NSS SCE for the batch of 2021. It is said that there is no comparison to the amount of love and satisfaction that you get back once you help the ones in need. So here we are to give you a quick glimpse into what NSS SCE is. In this presentation, we'll go through the objective of NSS 
and what NSS and NSS SCE is all about, the projects and events that we have. Motos help us link our deepest values and goals. NSS believes in the mantra, not me, but you. Selfless compassion and lending a helping hand has always been our mission. The importance of social work lies in its aim to confront social issues in all facets of life. From providing the one-on-one -on -one support of family welfare to shaping legislative policies that eradicate systemic injustices, one thing will always be true of social work. It's demanding. But with the right training, students with a desire to help people can bring real change to those in need. The other truth of social work, it's incredibly rewarding and NSS aims for the same. NSS expands to National Service Scheme. The National Service Scheme is an Indian government sponsored flagship for public service program conducted by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports of the Government of India. On 24th September 1969, the then Union Education Minister, VKR V. Rao, launched NSS at 37 universities in all states. Today, it has about 3.8 million volunteers working across India. The sole aim of the NSS is to provide hands-on experience to young students in delivering community service. NSS SCE or National Service Scheme School of Computer Engineering is a proud wing of NSS KIIT Bureau which strives to create a ripple by serving the needs of the society. Walking and working on the fine footprints of our visionary founder sir, Dr. Achyut Samantha, we believe in the art of giving. We have eight projects and an initiative with distinct objectives to accomplish our mission and vision. We have an adopted village, Barang, which is nearly 10 kilometers away from the KIIT campus. Now, moving towards our next section, we have our projects. Through collaborative inputs and homogeneous ideologies, the volunteers of NSS are bunched together to work for different issues of our society, as proposed and regulated by the National Service Scheme, the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India. We have eight functionally active projects under our NSS banner. They are Arogya, Ashai, Go Green, Leapy, Pragati, Roshni, Sarthi, Vikas, and an initiative called Daan, mainly done under Central NSS SC which works on different arenas of social welfare. Our Honorable Founder Sir, Dr. Prof. Achyuta Samanta, is an avid advocate of the art of giving, and all volunteers at NSS SC participate in giving away anything that they can arrange to the underprivileged people. So now, let's have a quick glimpse on the projects. Project Arogya works towards raising awareness about various diseases. They believe in the fact that a healthy mind resides in the healthy body. While Project Ashai has its volunteer devoted to paying back to the elderly. Go Green mainly works towards environmental awareness and educating about climate change. While spreading knowledge through practical and realistic ways is in the heart of the members of Project Leapy. Project Pragati intends to get underprivileged students up to date with the new age necessity, the computers. And Project Roshni has a beautiful objective of bringing smiles to the faces of most innocent beings, that is children. Project Sarthi aims to provide specially able children with a better perspective. Last but not the least, Project Vikas aims at the holistic development of the society. Hold on, we'll together dive into the objectives and working of different projects in our upcoming segments. So make sure to hold our hands to the last event of this evening. Now heading towards the most engrossing part of NSSSC, that is the event section. 
a plethora of enthralling events strike the calendar of NSS SC. But let me drive you through the major ones. We have NSS Week, Swachata Pakwara, Dan Lutsav, Silent March, and Happiness Concert. So let's begin. The spirit of NSS motive, Swayam Se Pehle A, that is, not me but you, is celebrated as NSS Week. Numerous events are organized for the volunteers from 18th to 24th September. Every year, September 24th is celebrated as NSS Day across the country in India to mark the inception of NSS. Next we have the Swachata Pakwala. A clean and green environment is the basic ideology in sustainable development for which we, the volunteers of NSS SC, had taken the initiative to clean our campus and its surroundings under UGC's Swachata Pakwala. Through our cleanliness drives, we aim at making people aware of the importance and methods of handling waste responsibly and try to take a step towards a cleaner environment. Another of our events was Daan Utsav. We at NSS SC believe that the mere act of giving fills a person's life with joy and their happiness multiplies. Daan is close to our hearts and we love to share this joy of giving with everyone. Every year, we donate food items, clothes, notebooks and many more commodities to the nearby villages and slums. Even during this pandemic, we didn't budge to extend our helping hands. Like last year, this year as well, during Diwali, we celebrated Dhanutsav with the underprivileged, making our Diwalis even better. NSS SCE also continued the Happiness Concert series by virtually hosting its 5th edition on 26th January 2021. The event commenced with the host's briefing about the motto of working towards the changes that we wish to see in the year 2021. Performers showcased their acting, singing, painting and dancing skills. Various skits and plays were enacted by them revolving around this motto. Solo performances like open mic and mono acts kept the audience entertained. The volunteers also shared their perspective of a better future by making posters. More than 60 performances and over 140 posters were presented on the occasion. The event successfully concluded by invoking the firm desires of an accomplished and serene future in the minds of students and inspiring them to work towards it. Every year, on 26 January, NSS SCE organizes a silent march in which volunteers depict their stand against various social issues. Last year, a silent march was conducted where we took a stand against the heinous crime, sexual violence. Volunteers raised awareness against this issue by holding out handmade posters. On further comprehending the ventures of NSS, the operations narrow down to a selfless ideology. The relevance of this ideology is kept intact through the guidance of an efficient panel of coordinators. The dignity and responsibility residing upon this panel is best represented in the words of Swami Vivekananda, which goes, True guidance is like a small torch in the dark forest. It does not show everything at once, but gives enough light for the next step to be safe. Their experience and decisions lay the foundation for the society's development. In NSS SCE, we have the following 11 coordinators. Adarsh Tiwari, Anjali Rai, Arup Kumar Sahu, Ashutosh Sahai, Devyani Bairagya, Iram Arshad, Rishik Bhardwaj, Shavik Ghosh, Shubham Samal, Shubhankar, and Tushar Ranjan Mahapatra. With a heartfelt sincerity and in-depthness, we introduce you to our program officers, Seetal Dash Ma'am and Ramakant Parida Sir. It is them who facilitate the proper planning and supervise the implementation of all the events of NSS. We are tremendously grateful to them for always guiding us on the right path. Without them, none of this would have been possible. 
With that note of gratitude, we conclude the presentation for today. To summarize, NSS ensures aid and support to the deprived while also mentoring them in the art of sustainability. In this journey of servitude, we have realigned with a new version of ourselves, a version that upholds dedication and empathy through and through. It is a debt that we owe NSS for framing us into the ideal ladies and gentlemen of the society. Thank you. Not me, but you. We strive to live by our motto. Now that you've all been familiarized with our purpose, let us run you through the eight projects that come under the umbrella of NSS SCE. matters of instinct. They are like matters of education and like most great things, you must cultivate a taste for them. So with this, I, along with my co-presenters, would like to greet you all to the tour of the Health and Hygiene Wing of NSS SC, Project Arogya. Arogya, a Sanskrit term that theoretically means to be free of diseases, essentially refers to the search for a procedure or method to rid oneself of ailments. We, the volunteers at Arogya, want to raise awareness about the significance of personal and community health and hygiene among all those who can be reached. Even the pandemic did not deter us from doing our part as we hosted webinars and created some fantastic educational videos to help educate the public. As the volunteers of Arugya, our objectives include creating awareness about physical and mental well-being, personal hygiene and menstrual hygiene. We aim to impart information and create awareness about chronic illness and diseases and also encourage people to lead a healthy lifestyle. Our procedures of work over the years have adapted to the needs of the situation. Even during the pandemic, we have come up with solutions that are to the best of our knowledge to fulfill our objectives and contribute our parts towards society. Earlier to the pandemic, our offline mode of operation included several visits and drives to ashrams and schools. Formulation of ideas, planning and permission to work led to field operations. However, we have now implemented the online mode. Ideation through general meetings and distribution of work leads to execution of it. 
we have had satisfactory outcomes in all the works that we have done. Awareness among the general masses regarding various topics, especially health related, have been achieved through the different projects we have taken up. We have also created health awareness among the underprivileged and the less fortunate and have also successfully organized blood donation camps. Our target has always been educating the general mass about various health issues, overall hygiene, cleanliness and creating a healthy community. Our main focus being the underprivileged and the less fortunate. We have tried to give back to the society as much as possible. Even in this pandemic, we distributed masks and daily products to many people living in the remote villages. The experience so far has been really fruitful. We have become a family even in this home-like environment. We as a team have made so many videos, arranged group events to create a real impact in the society. We also conducted a webinar on summer diet and COVID, educating people about how they can adopt a healthy diet and improve their immunity in the fight against the coronavirus. From video editors to content writers, from active idea givers to individuals who put these ideas into action, all of these would have never been feasible without the support of our whole team. The always willing to assist seniors have been the icing on the cake. We think that everyone has an equal work distribution at NSS, but that for an organization to function, it is important to have points of contact, which are none other than our lovely project representatives, Iram Arshad and Rishik Bharadwaj. So that concludes our quick tour of the health and hygiene wing. At the end of the day, it is NSS as a whole for whom we work and assist in achieving a great goal. I hope to see you all as a member of NSS in the near future. Thank you very much. See you at the recruitment. That was quite insightful. Thank you, Project Arogya. Service is the greatest form of liberation. To be able to help those who helped us once completes the circle of gratitude. Evidently, in the case of many senior citizens, they are abandoned in old age homes. Project Ashine attempts to complete their circle of love. Let us hear them out. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, said Mahatma Gandhi. Welcome. We are Project Ashine, the light of hope in the lives of the grey and old. Ashai has its volunteers dedicated to the service towards the elderly who have been abandoned by their families. We visit old age homes to create moments of happiness with them. We also spread awareness among the youth and help the elderly with the challenges they face. The most precious thing we can give to the aged is our time. And on that note, let us discuss our objective. Our entire motive is to bring smiles to their faces and share their joys and sorrows. We ensure that their living conditions are comfortable and mitigate any problems they may be facing to the best of our capacities. Moving on, let me break down our procedure from the pre-pandemic days. We take a bus down to the old age homes around the city and make endless memories with them. We perform several dances, poem recitals, shairies and sing songs. We also give them presents to remind them that they are loved and cared for. It is rightly said, where there is a will, there is a way. Let us now enlighten you about our ways. We decided to use social media in our best interest to spread awareness through content creation. We aim to spread positivity in these dark times. Love and compassion are not luxuries but necessities, as said by Dalai Lama. The best takeaway from every lesson is the experience gained. Here is ours. Let us now shed some light on our outcomes in our offline and online journey. We hear their stories and help them ease out their grief by giving them a listening ear. We involve them in our activities and bring a festive change of scene. 
moving on the online outcomes as we grapple with the myriad of challenges posed by the aging population we try to encourage young minds to focus on the potential changes they could make the youth needs to reframe the lenses through which they see those who are older this will benefit not only the elderly but also the society the sense of completeness that one feels by bringing a smile to one's face is what we felt on each of these visits we learned about team dynamics and cooperation we have gained a sense of calm and wonder in practicing being a human moving forward with our online experiences gone are the days when bonding was made physically in this era of digitalization there is no need of physical presence to make bonds working together in a team we have gained insight into dealing with pressure situations and how to cooperate among ourselves to reach our goals we have learned to adapt to the changing scenarios and create content like wise adapting to the new normal the pandemic changed how we look at limitations and helped us turn them into opportunities from donating blood to creating helplines in the second wave of corona we tried our best to contribute attending to the needs of the society to the extent of our capacities has connected us as a family our journey has taught us too many things teamwork mindfulness compassion and openness every moment counts when you're truly living when in service we truly live these are some of the stills from our offline ventures and here are virtual memories from the work we've done in the pandemic year we assimilated ideas to present on grandparents day unity day and international music day to name a few none of this would have been possible without our highly encouraging and supportive seniors these are our project representatives this is us we have come a long way from being strangers that knew each other only by profile pictures in small boxes to building a friendship that we eagerly wait to amplify nss has taught us to work closely in a team and has given us a platform to make a change and that unites us in seeking happiness for others you will find it in yourself as we come to the end of this segment i'd like to thank you all for patiently listening and i hope we were able to deliver with optimism looking forward to having you all on board with us on our mission of becoming conscious and responsible thank you for your enriching effort project ashai did you know it would take earth more than 200 years to undo the damage that we have caused as humans you do not have the idea that's the gravity of the situation go green as the name suggests is an initiative under the nss sce wing that pays back to the greatest gift of all the mother nature volunteers of go green let's get rolling we of go green are here to brief you about our project we stand by our motto when the going gets tough the tough go green the first thing that crosses our mind with go green is planting trees but believe me we are much more than that we at go green primarily aim at a sustainable way of living and focus on ecological restoration methods we the youth are in a hope of a better world and a healthy environment will play a significant role to help us achieve it we can all agree a clean state of mind comes from a clean environment keeping this in mind project go green has left no stone unturned in spreading awareness about the importance of environmental protection in schools villages and nearby slums we at go green spread awareness about reducing the wastage of our natural resources we highly encourage people to reuse products or to repurpose them into different forms before discarding them we also encourage recycling and segregating the waste and taking proper measures before its disposal last but not the least plantation drives have always been an integral part of project go green 
because to plant a seed today is to believe in tomorrow. Procedure We aim to spread awareness about environmental protection. We engage with people from our community, from people who live in nearby slums by celebrating festivals with them and educating them about the importance of clean and green surroundings. Currently, due to the pandemic, we have opted to spread awareness and educate knowledge about environmental protection to the people through online mode. Outcome Following the legacy of the seniors of our project, our volunteers have done a fantastic job. Though restricted to online mode, we successfully posted relevant videos and posters to keep up with our aim of spreading awareness. Target Audience During this pandemic, our target audience is the young generation influenced by social media. We organize live sessions and influence people to contribute their bit to bring a change in the society. Being a volunteer of Project Go Green is not just about acquiring experience. It's about the feeling of being responsible naturally. Volunteering for a cause you are passionate about is one of the most rewarding experiences around. When it comes to our experience, we have the opportunity to network with professionals in various environmental fields and other like-minded individuals who have a passion for preserving our planet. We did not know that we were about to learn so much about ourselves, environmental conservation and natural surroundings that we often take for granted. Because of COVID-19, we are organizing all our initiatives from home. We addressed many different topics such as animal cruelty and even national issues such as the Simlipal forest fires and the farmers bill through videos and posters. We organized plantation drives where every volunteer participated individually and took small steps to preserve the environment from their home. Our project is skillfully supervised by our project representatives Niyati Sanha and Giri Raj Ghosh. Their ideologies paved the way for the holistic development of our project. And this is our amazing team. If you want something to change, you have to do something about it. So come join us. When the going gets tough, the tough go green. A wonderful initiative, isn't it? Thank you, Project Go Green. दिल है छोटा सा छोटी सी आशा मस्ती भर मन की भोली सी आशा दिस कॉम्पोजिशन कम्स टू माइंड एज आई बिगिन टू टॉक अबाउट आर नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट लीवी लिटरेसी हैज सीन अ मेजर ड्रॉबैक इन इंडिया द अंडर प्रिविलेज स्कूल टेक द वर्स्ट फॉल एज इट इज एविडेंट इन द कोविड क्राइसिस Project Leapy is an initiative that provides education and career counseling to students. Let us find out how. As the code goes, the pen is mightier than the sword. Be the volunteers of Project Leapy under the golden umbrella of NSS SCE. Believe in this code and how a simple yet effective education can bring about a notion of change to an individual. Project Leapy from the very start has provided its members with the influence to create and lead a change in society a change for the good of every individual our volunteers cross paths with it is one of the eight projects incorporated under nss sc with their heads held high project lipi volunteers believe in its robust motto that not me but you how good an objective is it is the mind by the sheer quantity of vision and determination is put to design and envision the objectives and so our objective is to help the children learn to think creatively improve critical thinking skills make themselves more employable and decrease the language barrier for a suited career path and a brighter future in the good old days when the campus was open we used to make visits to schools 
to create a small impact by imparting knowledge and creating some effective learning segments for the students from the unprivileged section of our society. In every visit, we brought back with us cherishable memories and a lot of love. Project Lippy volunteers in their visits follow a very defined approach when it comes to teaching. As the prime motive of a project is to scale up the quality learning in the agristic environment, we strategize to impart basic communication skills to the children by inspiring them. Also, for an effective approach towards education, we follow a student-centered and game-based learning approach which made them build up a probable interest as it was quite different from the institutional method. Although our visits were determined in imparting wisdom, every single time we were confronted by more knowledge ourselves and through this experience, we can proudly say that Project Lippy helps not only the society but its own volunteers as well. With the whole world catching up to the digitized medium, our volunteers were motivated enough to even work out the odds and keep up to the good work that our seniors before us had envisioned. We made videos that were sent to the children from NGOs, videos on topics varied in the very sense of the world, videos that will help them adapt to the digital media and be easy to understand and learn from. We, the volunteers from Project Lippy, work each day on an individual level to create a small change for the betterment of society. Guided by the motive, we so stand strong for, motivated under the grand flag of NSS SCE. We, the volunteers, work diligently towards the dreams we all saw, that is, a society where knowledge is free. We keep pride in ourselves as a Project Lippy member and call upon every individual who has the same knack as us to impart the knowledge and learn every day from experience. At the end of the day, we as future engineers truly stand with the dreams of our seniors and cling to our beloved motto, knowledge is power. In the end, we, like you, to be engineers, truly stand with the dreams of our seniors and the motto we so cherish by our heart, that is, knowledge is power. Thank you. That was golden. Thank you so much, Project Lippy. Giving quality education to a deprived child is like giving sight to the blind. A vision from our honorable founder, Sir Dr. Achyuta Samantha. Educating students on an essential digital skills and being an eye opener for the masses on both ends of the digital spectrum is what Project Pragati focuses on. Wait, should I explain this? Project Pragati is ready and is excited to walk you through their work, contributions, and their vision to uplift the society to cross the threshold of digital adequacy. Growth is never by mere chance. It is the result of forces working together. Good evening everyone. We, the volunteers of Pragati, are here to brief you about our project. The importance of computers and automation has never been so evident. It's because of them we are all connected even during these perilous times. We may be stuck at home, but together we can move mountains with our will and determination. Not all of us become teachers, but all of us are students. We all know when we slept in classes or when we understood a concept. Now we have a chance to deviate from the standardized syntax of education and make it vibrant and significant. Our aim is to impart knowledge about computers to students and spread awareness about the advancements in technology. Every project has an objective. They are not commands, they are commitments. Our objectives are to make the students learn what we teach and retain what they read. We take a practical approach to every theory lesson and make the student familiar with the basic concepts of this electronic device in a very simple and interactive way. 
after all the efforts our team makes for the bright future of these children even the slightest desire to learn new things in them motivates us to do more for the youngsters who lack the resources we are privileged with their happiness fuels our inspiration classes turn into zoom meetings and answer sheets into mere pdfs all pictures now have a mask and sanitizer in them what did prakriti do during these times well the answer is we adapted from webinars to blogs in social media we made a computer playlist available for all times not only this but we also posted about pride and wrote many intuitive blogs showcased our talents in happiness concert and many more fun stuffs children must be taught how to think not what to think they are the world's most valuable source and our hope crooked teeth and wide smiles are the reason why we do what we do in life we generally come across two types of learnings one through our own personal experiences and second through other people's experiences working for our project pragati has been a fun learning experience and we are very grateful for the journey we had so far Experiences create bonds. Sharing a great experience is what made us from strangers to family. Despite not being able to meet anyone in person, there is a lot of great work we did that we are all proud of and we will cherish throughout our life. The project representatives of Pragati, Shobhi Ghosh and Shweta Nathani have not just represented Pragati at various levels but have been managing and mentoring other volunteers. throughout the academic year of 2020 and 2021 they have nurtured the projects and its volunteers with utmost care and affection our team will always be grateful for their support and guidance that brings us to the end of getting to know about project pragati but not the end of our journey to change the world see you all on the day of recruitment work indeed thank you project pragati children at first are just empty boxes eager to absorb everything they come across but of them there are some unfortunate traumatized by the loss of their parents at this juncture they need someone to teach or embrace them our next project under the nss sce wing does just that why not hear it from them welcome project roshni कितना प्यारा होता है बचपन जिसमें खेला रहता हमेशा खेल कूद में बीत जाता सारा दिन और रातें कट जाती तारे गिन गिन ग्रीटिंग्स एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्रोजेक्ट रोशनी रोशनी मींस लाइट एंड इट कैरीज द इनोसेंस एंड पावर टू एनलाइटन द ट्रूथ एंड चेंज द वर्ल्ड through its ray of hope we try our level best to show children the right track in education through various interactive and engaging activities it is an absolute honor for us to bring a smile to their faces and leave them with a curious mind and a zestful spirit to grow what is steve marabali a kind gesture can reach a wound that only compassion can heal our project aims to bring happiness to the lives of children we raise awareness regarding various social issues and also about sound health among children we try to enrich them with confidence and extracurricular skills to fulfill these objectives we follow certain procedures 
we seek orphanages ngos and other organizations where we could provide some help to the children we collaborate with such organizations and provide the children with a brimming experience full of educational and recreational activities happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light the outcome of our efforts has been great children feel associated with us by our companionship children in our company learn moral values like responsibility and honesty their participation in our activities helps them to develop these qualities while adding joy to their lives the covid pandemic has caused around 1700 children to lose both parents and approximately 140 children have been abandoned we at project roshni believe the children of today will make the india of tomorrow so we aim to enrich their skill set and get them involved in various recreational activities to fill their lives with happiness and knowledge even in this pandemic we have not deterred from our mission of adding value to their lives now coming to what it feels to work here adding value to society in return added fulfillment to our own lives Everyone at Project Roshni works hard to make these smiles perpetual and we are proud to be part of such a profound journey. The journey from starting a project, the hard work of brainstorming ideas to executing it well is all the result of the combined efforts of our active family. The seniors here are friendly and make sure to guide us well for success in our project. During COVID times our field of work moved primarily to online mode and social media helped us reach a larger audience we focused on child welfare issues created videos and published posts on various topics on social media platforms you have to have guidance to lead you in the right direction until you can do it by yourself i hereby introduce you guys to the people who have been our guide in this beautiful journey our project representatives ashutosh sahai and shreya mathur little by little bit by bit child by child so much good can be done on so many levels those beaming smiles and glittering eyes have become a memory to be cherished forever all because of our project roshni sticky fingers tangled hair scattered crayons everywhere fancy artwork on the wall drawn by little ones 3 feet tall messy fingers hair gone wild all in the life of a precious child being challenged in life is inevitable being offended by it is a choice but being unfailingly kind is a stroke of greatness all human beings possess both specialities and policies the specially able are no different we as a society must help accelerate this integration for their upliftment project sarthi works towards their betterment as they believe that they rise by lifting others now before you reach out for that fast forward button let me call upon project sarthi the project under the aegis of nss sc kit with the welfare of specially abled people being our motive we try to innovate new ways to make our efforts more effective interactive and informative we team up with different projects of nss sc for the well being of mankind Project Sarthi aims to help specially able individuals develop a new perspective towards life. Through this project, we inspire and aid them in all-round development, which in turn helps them to lead a better life. Our line of work is always flexible according to the need of the hour. Pre-pandemic times, we paid visits to organizations and schools for the specially able and organized fun activities for them. To acclimatize to the pandemic, we spread awareness through various online platforms in the form of videos or thread posts. 
with a pledge to make the life of specially able people a little better we serve them relentlessly by trying to create a comfortable ambience and give them a few cherishable moments to hold on to based on our working process inculcating positivity and bringing a smile on their faces are our key outcomes our main agenda is to help people with special abilities as they are hindered from a normal lifestyle with innumerable boundaries set up by the society we aim to alleviate their problems and empower them being a part of nss sarthi impacts not only your social sphere but also your personal sphere here from one of our volunteers i used to be an introvert and i used to hate group projects because of how awkward it used to make me feel but joining nss has definitely helped me in stepping out of my comfort zone because i had to talk to a lot of new people i had to talk to a lot of seniors to put forward my ideas uh, of ways in which we could help the society and we had to lot work on a lot of projects so even when everything was online uh, i made a lot of new friends because of the number of projects we worked on so joining nss has definitely helped me in building my personal and social sphere part of the team brings with it ups and downs which one has to experience let us see one of our volunteers take on it considering the better part of nss is sarthi we as volunteers get to help and impact the lives of specially able people whenever we get a chance to lend a helping hand towards them even if it's in the smallest possible way it leaves us with a sense of satisfaction we also team up for various group projects where we create videos thread posts and presentations that are then uploaded on various online platforms so that the necessary information can reach the masses the new normal brings with it many challenges let us see what one of our volunteers has to say about this Amidst the fight against the global pandemic, NSS as always stood up and took the charge to help while taking all the safety measures. As everything went online, the project Sarthi created awareness by uploading videos, presentations on our social media handles with authentic information so that people are not misguided. We also kept regular contact with the schools of specially able to provide maximum assistance. In a nutshell, we are trying to work efficiently in the online mode to bring a positive change in the society. Despite networking being our biggest problem, we did not stop serving our motto. We connected through various online platforms in the form of meetings and conferences and tried to spread awareness in every possible way. This is what our visits look like. introducing our two project representatives darshil agarwal and akriti singh who were our pillars of strength and guiding light at all times i hope this gave you a brief idea about what nss sarthi is Thank yes change can be brought as long as we are willing to do it thank you project sarthi hold my hand and walk with me we must break the back of social inequity We must empower every individual with disability to live with dignity in an inclusive society. For everything to develop, the privileged ones should lift the underprivileged and work in unity for the progress of the nation. Keeping this vision in mind, Project Vikas works on holistic development and spreading awareness. With every project laid out on the floor, please welcome Project Vikas before we call it a day. Vikas means growth or development. This project aims at the holistic development of a society by imparting education to making people aware of all the policies that are beneficial for them and how to utilize their policy for their own good. Our objective is to create an environment that supports the overall development of the society. Make people aware of the basic amenities that can lead to beneficial impacts on their lives and also keep up the pace with the fast moving world. Baran is the adopted village of NSS SCE and the primary visitor. Visits include its local schools and residents. We also visit old age homes and orphanages 
and mainly target underprivileged children and youngsters to make them educated and aware of a lot of things that they might not previously be aware of. The procedure that we follow is we visit nearby places and try to improve the area by facilitating new means. We visit the schools in the nearby slums and ensure education at every door. We organize sports activities and games as we aim to instill a sense of discipline in them with a splash of fun. We also make highly engaging and easy to understand videos on a wide range of topics to spread awareness among people. The volunteers get to make a lot of good friends with their seniors as well as their batchmates. They also experience how to handle pressure, workload, dealing with a lot of people and also performing certain type of tasks within a given frame of time. They also develop communication skills, writing, presenting, designing as well as a whole lot of other skills while serving to the society. In Vikas, we've done multiple social service activities in both offline as well as online mode. Some of them are career counselling, digital India campaign, water conservation campaign, computer education, etc. In online mode, we've made informative videos based on women empowerment, cyber security and crime, and intriguing playlists based on first aid and wisdom of Wednesday, which emphasized on interesting facts releasing every Wednesday. To continue our service in this pandemic situation, Project Vikas has adopted the online policy to reach out to the needy using various online and social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And for those people who are not on the social media, these videos and posts will be used for teaching and educating them in offline mode in the near future. Amidst this pandemic and the lockdown situation, Many other activities like webinars are also under process aiming on the well-being of people. The competent supervision of Nitin Sultania and Shikhar Shrivastav has led us to achieve an unprecedented level of splendor. Vikas encompasses a spirit of oneness characterized by dedication and ensuring service over self. And that's a draw upon the ventures of Vikas, sculpting new beginnings from every conclusion. Thank you. Thank you Project Vikas for your enlightening words. We seek to leave a place cleaner than we found it, people happier than we found them, world better than we found it. As we approach to the end of our orientation, we would encourage you to reach us if you have any questions. You have been a wonderful audience and we hope we have been equally good hosts. The registration window is now open. We hope you reach out to the link over there and get yourself registered. The next stage to becoming one of us awaits you on the 25th of July from 10 a.m. onwards. Let's make it count. It's not the end, just the beginning. It's not the closure, but the start of a day with hope and frozen determination that can never fade away. Stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life from aching, or cool a single pain, or just help a fainting child onto his home again, I shall not live in vain. Thank you so very much for joining us, taking the time and understanding with us. Take care. Bye bye.
तू जा चुका है 